at Carol Markowitz, Keisha King, and Azra Nomani. Ladies, great, great to have you this morning. I, I finally get to host one of these parent panels. I'm so excited. Um, Azra, I'd love to start with you. What do you make of this? It appears to be labor union, teachers union um, input being prioritized over the best interest of children. Oh, it's just outrageous. You know, well, I covered the labor unions at the Wall Street Journal for many years. And Randy Weingarten, the head of the American Federation for Teachers and the National Education Association, they're the new union boss in America today. They are the ones that are keeping schools closed. And the White House, unfortunately, is working with them in order to basically set education policy in America. And unfortunately, it's meaning that kids are failing. And so the homework assignment really needs to be with the White House and deciding how they are going to get out of this this really diabolical uh, alliance they have right now with the teachers unions at the detriment of our kids. Yeah, Keisha, this is what HHS has to say to Fox News. They said this reflects standard logistical and operational planning around rollouts of new policy, including ensuring bipartisan governors, mayors, members of Congress, here's the key phrase, and stakeholders knew about the updated public health guidance from CDC. The question, Keisha, is which stakeholders do you prioritize? I thought the stakeholders were the children. Um, certainly, those are my stakeholders. I don't know where uh, the AFT or the NEA gets off uh, not prioritizing children. But I guess, you know, it's kind of in the name. It's teachers' unions. It's not children's unions. Um, and I don't even think they're really focused on the teachers either. I think they're focused on themselves. And it is appalling, just like Osra just said, that they would not uh, take the most important people that are supposed to be their focus uh, into consideration when they're considering uh, guidance. They like to talk about the science, but it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like they considered the science at all. They considered themselves. Or the children, didn't consider the children at all. Carol, um, Keisha just brought up Randy Weingartner. Ozra brought up Randy Weingartner. She is being celebrated in the New York Times as a champion of keeping schools open. Here's what an op-ed in the New York Times has to say said, those who fault Weingarten for closed schools misunderstand the role she's played over the last 20 months. Rather than championing shutdowns, she spent much of her energy, both in public and behind the scenes, trying to get schools open. Your reaction, Carol? Yeah. Randy Weingarten wins the award for the biggest gaslighter of 2021. This is all lies. It's, it's hilarious lies, actually, because we know the truth. We actually know all the evidence. Um, in February of 2021, Randy Weingarten sat down with the CDC and helped them craft policies that would keep schools closed. A, a month later, when the CDC was moving to change the guidelines from six feet of distance in classrooms, which kept kids out of classrooms, to three feet, Randy Weingarten fought that. She continued continues to implement measures all across the country that keep kids from learning. The ma intense masking in class, the outdoor masking in New York City, the eating lunch on the ground, that all stems from her. She's the one pushing these insane policies. Um, so, you know, I, the, the headline was, can this woman save public education? Yes, she could, because now more Americans believe in school vouchers, more Americans believe in charter schools, more Americans homeschool. Yeah, so she is going to save public education by destroying public schools across the country and showing parents that they need a choice that Randy Weingarten is completely not involved in their kids' education. Wow, very, very well said. So, Carol, Keisha, and Azra, I thought this was a Pete Hegseth-owned segment. I thought he had trademarked it. I saw some cracks in the wall because I saw that Rachel hosted a, uh, one or two, and now it's a complete jump ball. I'm in on the game, and it's a jump ball. <laughs> so I was excited to talk to Thank the three you, of you this morning. Thank you for your time. Oh, we love Thank it. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>